Hi, this is Mike Peasley of Sound Iron, and I'm here to walk you through the Breaker Library. Breaker is a pretty simple concept. It's a breakbeat percussion element library, uh, focusing on kicks, snares, uh, cymbals, toms, clicks, clacks, auxiliary percussion, and what have you. It's got a lot of different control features that allow you to really shape and mold the sound into whatever you want it to be. But the fundamental starting point is that it's uh, real acoustic drums, recorded bone dry, all sorts of different snares, all sorts of different toms and, and kicks and cymbals, but processed aggressively to get a very crisp, classic sound, kind of fresh off of vinyl or tape. It's not necessarily meant to be a pure, clean sound. In fact, quite the opposite. We piped it through pretty dodgy analog gear to get kind of a bit more rawness to it. And that was the entire point. It was, it, it was something, this is more of, uh, of an artistic sound than it is a pure clinical sound. So jumping right into the Mega Mixer, this is the flagship preset in the library. It allows you access to all the different articulations, all the different drums, and you can map them however you want over the key range and dial in different parameters for each drum and each articulation. You've got 12 sockets to work with here, um, and they can overlap, they can be separated. You could do whatever you want really here. Um, you've got global controls for attack, release, and offset, uh, global LFOs for pitch and volume that can be tempo synced, uh, a three-band EQ with sweepable mid, a uh, resonant filter that can also be tied to an LFO, and with each of these LFOs you can choose your own waveform, um, and then our convolution reverb, which allows you to load in any uh, effect or space that you choose from our selection, and then if you want to save your preset for later, you can lock it down by hitting the custom button, and it'll save its state. Uh, we'll explore that a little bit later. So starting off, you can see I've created a little kit for myself. I've got a kick drum. I've got snares. I've got clicks and clacks. Snaps. Got a little hi-hat here. So I've got myself... Uh, generally, this is kind of a library you would sequence because it's a little tricky to play a good, convincing, uh, you know, backbeat or breakbeat on a keyboard with your fingers, but I'll do my best here. To effectively use the Mega Mixer, there are just a few really simple controls to learn. Um, You've got 12 sockets here, and any one of them can load any of the different drum types and articulations. Just left-click on the one you want to assign. I've picked kicks for this one, uh, and then I've picked kick one. Uh, so uh, what if I want two, three, four, five, six. and so on. Um, and then I can define the pan position. Just put it wherever I want it. I can bias the dynamics. And that just basically subtracts or adds um, velocity steps to it. Uh, you can make it tuned or untuned so that all the notes are the same or Uh, and then you can set low and high and define the uh, key range and set the root if it's tuned. And then to edit a different one and the different parameters, you just click the little edit button and it'll show you the defined range, the root, which is the, the green key, and then all the different controls. Then you got your global controls, attack, Release, offset, and that uh, skips ahead into the sample, so you can kind of create choppy effects. So you've got a pretty powerful tool here to 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 do all sorts of different things here, and then you know you, to define a new one that hasn't been defined. Just click on it, select, pick your drum. And set your root, tuned, 
They want to have everything have this symbol on it. So yeah, you can layer and stack drums and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So let's move on over to the Uberpegiator. You'll find this system in most of the library presets. Uh, it's a arpeggiation step sequencer and uh, effect system. You can do a lot of different things with this thing. Uh, but on you know right right at the surface, you've got a um, a table step sequencer with as few as two or as many as 32 steps. Um, and uh, starting with the basic mode, uh, it defaults to eighth notes. Let's just you know get your you can change the direction. Played would be the obvious. Or zigzag. Moving out from the wider keys to the inner keys. And then you've got ranges from whole notes all the way to 128th notes. Um, and then you can set the number of hits before it moves on to the next step. Um, and then hit strength, uh, repeats, quarter tone pitch stepping, which is more of an effect, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Then you can constrain it to scales and keys, which is really handy for uh, some of the tonal presets in this library. Um, but for the untuned percussion, one of the coolest things this, this uh, system offers is just some ridiculous uh, sort of uh, glitch effects. I'll try to keep it simple because it's a pretty simple library. Um, but the easiest way to dive right in is to load up um, any of the solo presets which focus on either the kick, snare, cymbals, toms, or clicks, or the main um, sort of everything preset, Breaker All, which has all uh, 80 plus articulations lined from left to right. 
and then all the core parameters right here in front of you, uh, including swell for longer crescendos, uh, the release to tighten or loosen the sound. So even at its longest, it's still a very tight sound. Attacks to soften it up. And then offset uh, causes the uh, sample to start farther and farther in. And then stepping, you can uh, shift the pitch up or down up to 36 semitones. And then, of course, we've got LFOs with uh, selectable waveforms um, for volume. So you can get some kind of interesting uh, amplitude modulation sounds. Or flip it over to... And then, of course, for pitch as well, uh, you can sync it to host tempo. And um, just by flipping that switch, EQ is a standard three band EQ with a sweepable mid. Filters, same thing. It's a resonant. And then, of course, you can also sync it to host tempo as well with an LFO. completely transform the sound very, very quickly. Um, you can load up, say, some um, one of our convolution impulses and lock it with the custom button so that when you save it, it loads back up again. It's the same one you selected. Change the size. Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit you can do very very, you know, with, with some very simple controls. Um, you can completely redesign this sound. Uh, or you can uh, just check out some of our effect presets, which uh, we've just, in some cases, done some special tweaks um, and experimentation and others. Um, just kind of played around with some of the various controls we give you and found some sounds that we liked. Um, and then w we attached some, some of the core effect parameters that give it its flavor to a single knob, just um, the FX mod knob you can uh, play with. So it just reshapes the sound rather directly. Sucker up.
just to make it simple, we've mapped the FX mod knob to the mod wheel. You can unmap that by using the uh, automation assignment browser.
that's just a tiny slice of the uh, 40 different effect presets, which span uh, synths and pads, basses and leads, and then, of course, percussive uh, elements, different flavors of uh, electronic drum kit, and then some crazy glitch stuff that's kind of hard to describe. But I think once you hear it, you'll immediately recognize just a lot of different ways that this thing can be used. Um, it's in a very deep library for um, such a simple concept, and I think it uh, you'll find it extremely useful in uh, all types of different scoring projects and um, songwriting. So that's uh, that's Breaker in a Nutshell. We hope you enjoy it. 